What's up, y'all? It's your girl, J -j 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 Ginger, and you are officially in the Ginger Hood. Yo, it's been a minute, um, but as you already know um, from my last video, I am expecting, and when I did that video, I was like five months. I am now 36 weeks and some change, and baby girl is head down, and ready to come out and I'm always having contractions see so I decided to um, do a baby haul on all the things that I got for um, baby girl over time and I went to several different stores um, as you'll see, you'll see in this video I went to um, Burlington Burlington Co factory bye bye baby um, I got some things from Target Walmart Dollar General and Amazon. That's it right there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you everything I have for her so far. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Give me all the thumbs up and all the likes because it's absolutely free. And why not look out for your girl and, you know, kick it with me. Okay, so let's jump right into this haul. Okay. The first, the first things I'm going to show you is um, all the things I got out of Bye Bye Baby, okay? Um, now, let me just say, because you'll see in the, the inserts that I'm, I'm putting in this video, um, I was so excited to go to Bye Bye Baby, like, oh, go, go, Bye Bye Baby. Like, I was so excited to go, and when I got to Bye Bye Baby, and I started to look around, my excitement quickly turned into what the disappointments today i am going to do some baby shopping um i'm gonna go to a couple of stores i'm definitely going to go to um bye bye baby and i'm gonna go to target prayerfully i make it to a couple of stores because i just spent a large vast majority of my day waiting around that's a whole nother story maybe for a story time um but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go and get some stuff for the baby. Hopefully, I make it, like I said. And knowing me, it depends on what store I go to first. If I go into Target, I may leave. But I don't think I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Bye Bye Baby first. But I know, I think I'm going to fall in love in Bye Bye Baby. And if I do, I probably won't make it to Target today. But we're, we're going to see. I'm going to get some baby stuff today. So, that's where I'm going now okay okay when i first got inside um bye bye baby i did love the shoes oh my goodness do you see all of these pretty cute little shoes and boots like i did get very very excited about that but um i think that's about it <laughs> so i'm finally done at bye bye baby i really didn't like a lot of this stuff like i don't know i didn't I don't know. I didn't like a lot of it for for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, and they're, they're overpriced. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. Oh, my baby hairs don't lay down, y'all. I'm sorry. All throughout my pregnancy, look, like, my hairs just don't lay down no more. I don't know. Sorry. But anyway, <clears throat> um, you know, like, their prices, their stuff is overpriced in my opinion. Um, I didn't see anything different, per se. And... I, I spent a whole bunch of money. I spent close to like $400 and really didn't have much to show for it. Um, some of the things were necessities that I did get. And then after I bought them a couple weeks later when I went to other places, I saw the very exact same thing for way less. So in my opinion, I think Bye Bye Baby is a little overrated. That's my opinion. Um, I don't know if it's the type of store where... You know, some stores is like, you got to catch it when you have a sale. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's it. But I didn't, I don't know. Anyway, so let me show you what I got. So, and some, it's cute what I did get, but, it, you know. Um, I got these washcloths from there. Good quality. Very good quality. I did get these, and I think they were like either $8 or $11 a pack. Yeah. I got those out of here. Like they were like I think seven. I just remember they were over. They were over five dollars. Okay, so 
I mean, they are good quality, so I'm not going to front and act like they're like the, the flimsy ones. These are great great quality washcloths. Um, the problem is, though, when I went somewhere else, I saw the same exact ones for like 2 or $3 cheaper. That's the problem. That's where it's like, what the hell? Why did I spend so much money? And I got these cute little boots. Oh, my God. Aren't they cute? I got those. Oh, pass me um, that. So, I'll edit it out. Um, I did get the um, Aqua 4 um, baby wash and um, diaper rash cream and advanced therapy lotion from out of there. I think I paid like 20 something dollars for this and it comes with a pack of water wipes in the back. I did get that from there, which I think I found cheaper. <laughs> and I got this tub, which... I don't know. Uh, part of me starting to feel like I probably, I don't know. It's cute, but she's not going to be able to use it for long. It's zero to six months, which is fine. This was like $19, but I like it. It's silicone. Um, yeah, but I did see this too, so we're all <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> but I got this from Bye Bye Baby as well. Oh, and I got my Boppy pillow. A lot of people sleep on the next store I'm going to go over, um, which is dollar general people be sleeping on dollar general you can find some nice stuff out of dollar general now i wouldn't say try to go shopping all at one time but every time i go to dollar general because i live in dollar general like i do walmart so i'm there quite a lot um move over some yeah so i'm there quite a lot so every time you know i go i look around i check out the baby stuff to see what they have and i found some cute stuff so i'm going to show you what all i got from dollar general but i got some of the cutest outfits that I think it are cute and they're different. You know, I like the little different stuff. I mean, baby stuff is baby stuff, but I like stuff that, you know, a little different, you know. So I found this. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Oh, and it has the little hat with the little bow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And the little oh, this is so cute. And this was ten dollars ten dollars out of dollar general um oh i got tons of these um these are two dollars a piece the cute little booties oh my gosh every time i went i found like a different style and i i bought them these are four dollars because you get um you know two pairs of these and these are technically as i say for boys but you know, I like to dress little girls up so she can still wear these with like her big orange hair bows and her big, you know, navy blue stuff. Like this is so pretty and I'm a Mitch Match type person so I don't like everything like matching. So I'm the type of person that, you know, will let her wear like these with like, I don't know, like hot pink or something. That's just me. That's my thing. But yeah, so I got these. These are these were $2 and the ones with two on there, they were 4 See, from Dollar General. And they make noise. They're so cute. I think I showed y'all these. And I got these. Look at those. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. $4. Um, and I got a pack of washcloths. I think these were like a dollar. These are the, the thin ones, but they still work. So I did get these from there for a dollar. Um, and it's like four of them in there. And, oh, did y'all see these? <laughs> it's so cute. Um, um, I got that for $5. Um, I got this for $5 out of there. With the little feet. Isn't that cute? And it says Little Dreamer. $5. I think it's so cute. Just just pull it. Cute. I love this. Got the little swine. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot I got this. This was, I feel like, oh, $12.50. But look. Oh, my gosh. And this is another outfit that these can go with. See? Or, like, another pair. Like, I just love stuff like this. And, of course, technically, this is made for a boy. But I'm going to dress her up. Um... You know, with accessories to match. Like, it is so pretty. It comes with mittens, um, a hat, a bib, a onesie, and the footed pajamas. 
Isn't that cute? And I like this little case that come in. Like, it actually snaps like a garment case. Like, this little girl gonna have a garment bag. Like, for real. See? It's a garment bag. You're not gonna tell me this is not cute. And I like it, too, because I could put a lot of her dirty clothes in here and put the whole thing in the washing machine. You know what I'm saying? Versus her clothes just tumbling around on its own. So, this is perfect for her clothes. Isn't that cute? Um, Sarks, these are so cute. And they are, they were $2 as well from Dollar General. Aren't these cute? Look at them. <laughs> Already showed that one. Um, then I got her these socks. They were a dollar. It is one, two, how many pairs? Four pairs of socks out of Dollar General for a dollar. Yes. And... I think I found this recently. Yeah, I love this little outfit. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna tell me that is not cute. Look at that. With all the little roses, it has the feet. This one was five dollars. And a lot of the stuff that I've been buying for um my baby, um, I try to buy everything like three to three to six months because I never had a baby that could fit newborn clothes ever. And you guys know, if you don't know, now you know, this is baby number seven, okay? And I have never had a baby that can fit newborn clothes, ever. She's already like six and a half pounds, and I am 36 weeks. So they are projecting her to be um, like a little over seven or close to eight um, when I go in, if she makes it all the way to the due date. Um, it is technically, what's today's date? It's December, no, no, no November 30th. 30th. It's okay. Thank you, little helper. It is November. <laughs> what date? What date is it, Tootie? It's November thirtieth. Um, and yeah. So yeah. So, and I'm due. Okay. So, I talk about the due date later. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So this is that. So I'm gonna cut all that out. Um, but yeah. Isn't this cute? This is so pretty. So yeah, all of her stuff I get in um three to six months. I also got these socks from there, too. I thought these were cute. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for them. But aren't they cute? So, I'm telling you, do not sleep on Dollar General. People be sleeping on Dollar General. I don't. I got some other stuff from there, too. Let me see where I put it. What's next? Now, I'm going to go over everything that I got from Walmart. Um, I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff out of walmart it don't mean that i'm not going to hit walmart up just yet but so far um i have not bought a lot of stuff out of walmart so i'm going to show you what all i have from walmart um early on in my pregnancy i purchased these the parent choice um baby wipes and are these the water wipes no yeah so um these are shea butter um baby wipes i did get these out of walmart they were dirt cheap. Um, I don't even think I paid $20 for them. I do not remember how much I paid for them. But I did get these out of Walmart. Um, if I remember when I edited them. And every time I do go, because like I said, Walmart is another store that I kind of live in. So every time I do go, I do end up buying um, stuff out of there when I go. So I did buy a pack of these Pampers. In a size two, because I thought they were cute. And and I just I hope the pamper looked like this. I don't even know if the pamper looks like this, but the bag is cute. <laughs> and I'm a I'm gonna try them out. So this is um all good. Um, and it's a size two, and these were dirt cheap, they were on sale. I mean, well, I think this is I think it was a normal price, but they were dirt cheap. So since you need all all sizes and pampers, I went on and bought these pampers out of there um when I went. I also got baby girl some socks, like a little elephant and stuff. My daughter is so silly. Y'all can see her face. <laughs> um, and this was one of the first outfits I bought her too. Um, because when I did find out that it was a girl, what I didn't want, I tried my best to stay away from pink because if you if you have girls or if, you, if you're having a girl and you shop for a girl, you already know it's so hard to buy things that are not pink or purple. And that's something I try my best not to do. I don't know. 
I think I succeeded. I did okay. I did okay. So, um, and this is a gender neutral um, outfit. It's for a baby boy or baby girl. Got the little feet out. So this is something she'll be able to wear, I guess, like maybe her first week or her second week home because this is a zero to three months and like i said i normally don't buy stuff that small because i haven't had a baby to fit anything but this was so cute and i just thought i was having a boy and it was the only one so i bought it <laughs> and i got this little um bandana bib to go with it um and this little headband <laughs> and Oh my gosh, I got her the cutest little turban. Isn't that cute with the little bow? Oh. So it was like, she could wear like either one with it. Um, I got that. And I got her some onesies. Yeah. And some with some giraffes. Because if you know me, you know giraffes is my favorite animal. So I found her some cute little giraffes. And I got these in three to six months. And here's the receiver blankets that I got out of Walmart, okay? Same name brand as the ones I got out of Bye Bye Baby. And I think I saved like three or four dollars. I kid you not. This is when I started to get pissed off. Even when um, I have like her hair accessories. Ha blah, blah, blah. Even when I have her hair accessories and stuff. Like I, I spent way more money. <laughs> In another store than I did at Walmart and I was just like oh my god like I just didn't know but now I know um but yeah so these receiving blankets um I got way cheaper at Walmart too I got her some swaddles from Walmart um and I don't remember how much I paid for these I got the receipt I do have the receipt from this stuff I don't remember how much I paid but look at them the little monkey and a giraffe <laughs> so cute <laughs> those and are you guys like me? Because I like to keep these bags. I don't throw these little bags away. Because they're cute for like, you know, little soiled things or dirty clothes. Or I don't know. I just love these little plastic bags. I don't throw these bags away. But um, look at these. Oh my God, these are so cute. Like I said, I'm opening up everything while I do my haul so that I can wash everything. Um, I picked me up some nursing pads. Like I said, I bought some of this stuff when I found out I was pregnant. And I think I might have been like three or four months maybe when I bought these. So they're a little crushed, but they're not open. So I do have some nursing pads and stainless steel bottles. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. These are so cute. They are stainless steel, dishwasher safe, and BPA free. And I did buy two. And guess what? Y'all will never believe when I tell you those are like the only two bottles I have. Even though I'm nursing, nursing moms, you already know, we still need to have some bottles. Unless you plan to be tied to your child's hip and, you know, at all times and never have to leave to go pay bills or do anything, you know. Um, yeah, so I got to buy some more bottles. But, yeah. Um, these were a gift from my oldest daughter. She bought these for my little baby. Aren't they cute? The bandana bibs. Um, I'm not really a bib mom. Cause like when I had my all my other girls, like we had bibs. We I ended up using them for rags and they play with them. Like I just don't like the under the neck stuff. And a bib does not prevent stuff from getting under the neck. The bib stops food from getting on a baby's clothing. So and I think when people have the bib on that little ring, like I just I just don't me personally, I don't knock nobody's nothing wrong with having a bib on your baby. I just never been a bibber. Like just I don't know. But aren't these cute? She got these onesies for her. These are so cute. And it's weird because my daughter be buying stuff for my baby and I buy stuff for her because she's having a baby. And that's something I haven't really talked about um, on YouTube or anything. And that's going to be for a whole nother video. Does it come with the matching headbands? Isn't that cute? But I'm not a bibber, so I may end up giving these back to her. I don't know. Minus the headbands. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah but i'm gonna talk about that the whole experience with my daughter having a baby like us literally being pregnant at the same time it's not easy um or should i say it hasn't it i don't know what to say uh we'll, we'll have a chit chat about that that's what i will say and i'll probably edit this part out but yeah <laughs> um she got me these they're so cute so it's like i buy stuff for her baby and then she buys stuff for my baby and i'm just like can you let me just buy stuff for your baby and it's funny um so yeah everything i got from burlington coat factory and let me tell you out of all the places i went oh i also went to dd's Dee um discount i don't know depending on where you're from um Dee Dee's discount can kind of remind you of like a roses but with more um Cl more clothes and stuff like that and not so much like lawn and garden stuff but um yeah like i went to dd's discount and i got some stuff out of there too and i was so sh surprised like i'm going to show you that stuff but let me go through what i got from burlington now i went to burlington the same day i had went to um bye bye baby i went to bye bye baby first and then i went to burlington coat factory and when i went to burlington I felt like, why the hell did I go to Bye Bye Baby? Like, but then if I would've went to Burlington first, I would have never made it to Bye Bye Baby. And I did get some of the things I needed. I just, but I, I, let me tell you something. I got my money's worth out of Burlington Coat Factory. So if you sleep on Burlington Coat Factory for baby stuff, wake the hell up and take your ass to Burlington Coat Factory ASAP, okay? Um, okay, so, um, I came to Burlington Coat Factory after leaving Bye Bye Baby and I have literally went crazy. Oh my God, like, so let me try these receiving blankets, okay? Um, oh my God, yes. Proper, okay, this, <laughs> look at these. Like, how can you leave this right here? You cannot leave this. Look, I found these. I found a different style, of course, which I'll show you, $11.99. This is a total of seven receiving blankets. Seven for $11.99. And I have literally, I racked up in here. Look at these, these are beautiful. The quilts, $7.99. And this is Olivia and Oliver, okay? Like this stuff is gorgeous. Look, I love the print. Oh my gosh, $4.99. So you know I'm racking, oh my God, they had a Betsy job. Look at the Betsy Johnson blanket, six ninety nine with the with the head pillow. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is so cute. I like the hot pink though. I don't need no more pink. Oh my gosh! This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all! Five ninety nine. Okay, so I will show you the rest of what I got, but I literally wrecked up. And Burlington Coat Factory. $4.99. Like, right all the way up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this swaddle blanket. Betsy Johnson. How much is this? $5.99. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the lady with the black and white Adidas on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. This is I'm just like excited right now. For real. Okay. So, I have finally left out of Burlington Coat Factory. And when I tell you, I feel like I'm going to take some of my stuff back to Bye Bye Baby tomorrow. I have little, I, I mean, I, I've, oh my God. Like, I bought so much stuff. I spent close to like $400 in Bye Bye Baby. And I spent like $100 in Burlington. And I got way more for my money. So, I'm going to show you guys so you can see the difference. But, oh my God, I'm like so tempted. Like, <clears throat> to take my stuff back tomorrow. For real. This is crazy. Um, So, I have a um, Leela and Jack. And I love Leela and Jack. Plush baby blanket. Look at that. Isn't this so cute? And I paid $4.99. Okay, $4.99 for Leela and Jack out of Burlington. Um, so, of course, when I went there, I was just like, oh my God, like, why didn't I come here first? Because I didn't get not one blanket 
out of Bye Bye Baby because they were like $100. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but I'm just saying, like, nobody paying that much money for that stuff. Like, they're tripping, right? Um, so, I'm so excited about my experience at Burlington Coat Factory. I also got a Blushing Bell baby blanket, and this one was $5.99, and it is so plush and so soft. Look at that. Look at that. Like, I wish I went to Burlington first. Like, oh my gosh. I love this stuff. And I keep, you ever keep the, y'all keep the ribbons? I keep the ribbons to all my stuff. Like, I just think they're cute. And you can do little things with them. And I and the hangers. I like the little blanket hangers too. Because if you wash them, you don't want to always put them in a the dryer. You can use the hangers and hang them up. Or you can just put them away that way on hangers in your closet. Um... And keep it looking nice and neat. But I love Blushing Bell. Um, and they got the Velcro bow. Like, oh. So, yes. Um, and I got another Blushing Bell. I tried to get all of them. I got as many as I could. Um, and this is Simply Dreamy. And this has, like, um, you can't tell. But it's, like, giraffes and stuff on here that are, like, stitched in lightly. And I like it because it didn't change the color of the actual blanket. This is so cute. $4.99. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. $4.99. Burlington Coat Factory. So, I'm excited about that. Um, I was so happy about these. Okay, so these receiving blankets, um, it's seven of them. Seven of them on each one. Look at that. Seven seven receiving blankets right remember when i told you what i spent on receiving blankets at um bye bye baby right thank you my little helper um these were 11.99 for seven so i paid close to the same amount at bye bye baby for i think it was like four or five and here i have seven this is the stuff i'm talking about when i'm like i should have went here first so Word to the wise, do not sleep on Burlington Coat Factory, okay? Here y'all go. Um, and I love Tahari. So I found this cute Tahari swaddle with the headband to match. And I got this Betsy Johnson swaddle. Look at that. And it has the Velcro. <laughs> Easy access for the baby. Look at that. This is so cute. And I paid... Where's the tag at for this? I think this was like $7. I think it was like $7. I don't know where the other tag is, but this is the original. Yeah, I think I paid like $7 or something like that. But isn't it cute? Like, it's an easy swaddle. You just slide the baby in and Velcro. Bada bing, bada boom. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Burlington Co. Factory, I'm trying to tell you. Look at that. Oh, she won't be bombing. Then I got more receiver blankets. Um, Hudson Baby. And I thought these were so pretty. Look at the colors. These are so cute. And these were the same price, $11.99. So I'm excited about those. I got this Betsy Johnson blanket and neck roll for her. Like, she's going to be taking a flight. I mean, she will be, but, like, she's not going to be her own seat. But. And I'm not the one for a whole bunch of trinkets and car seats. Like, I know people who have, like, a whole bunch of trinkets. Like, the baby got to have this, that, and I don't do all that for car seats. However, this is so cute. Look at that. And I paid $6.99 for this. $6.99, okay? You see what I'm saying? Burlington Coat Factory. That's what I'm saying. I got her some towels because I didn't get the towels out of Bye Bye Baby because they were an arm and a mother freaking leg. But these were $7.99. They're hooded towels. Peachy in color. Not so much pink, but peach, you know. Aren't they cute? And some washcloths. These were cute. These were $3.99. And these are that thick quality just like those other ones that I showed you. These are not the flimsy ones. And $3.99. Burlington Co. Factory. So, 
you know, um, but yeah, and I got these. I think these are, these are the flimsy ones right here. And these are like $2, but I get 24. See what I'm saying? Like 24 Burlington Co. Factory. Don't sleep on Burlington. I'm trying to tell y'all. Trying to tell you right now. People be sleeping. So don't sleep. So I also got this stuff from Walmart because I realized toward like, I think like last week or so, like my baby, not only do she not have bottles, but I did not get, she don't have lotion and stuff like that. So I did buy some stuff, but you know, you want to have a variety and different things to choose from. Um, but when I was there, I got the Hello Bello, Hello Bello water wipes and this is 180 count. And I think I paid like $6 and some change for these out of Walmart. Um, I believe in water wipes. I did get her those and I got her, I got her some stuff. I got her some gripe water. And yes, I'm I'm trying parents' choice. I never even used gripe water with any of my children, so I ain't even gonna lie. But I got it just in case she needs it. I got the Hello Bello um, baby lotion. And if you don't know, Hello Bello products are plant based. And I am um, one of them parents where I don't do Johnson and Johnson. If somebody buy it for me, of course, you know, I was like, I don't want that. You know, you use it as last resort. Um, but or baby magic. I'm not a baby magic. Um, mom either but my children I've always had to use Avino and stuff like that on their skin so I wanted to make sure I got things that would be friendly on her skin just in case she needs you know she has sensitive skin too um, so yeah so I got the Hello Bello it's plant based I got the lotion and the shampoo and body wash and this is the calming soft lavender scent I got that out of there. Um, I got the Eucerin Baby Wash and Shampoo. You can never go wrong with Eucerin. And the Cetaphil. Now, I do plan to use the whole entire line of Cetaphil um, baby products. So that's the um, the Body Wash and Shampoo. Hope you can see that. I got out of Walmart as well. Um, Cause like I said, my baby ain't have no lotion and stuff, right? Like, who does that? baby nursery but yeah so here's what I got from Amazon so I got her these sleepers they were um, $18 for three and yes I did not mind paying the $18 for three because these are um, made out of organic cotton and look at the quality look how long they are like, I love these. These are um, zero to six months. And I like the different prints on them. Look at that. And I will leave the description to everything in the link below. I mean, I will leave the link um, in the description box to everything I got below. You know what I meant. Y'all watch enough YouTube videos. <laughs> um, and I got... What is this? Oh, forgot I had this. Um, I ordered the Frida Baby Derma Frida skin soother set and this are this is the um brushes that you can use to wash your scalp if the baby have cradle cap or you know you can just use it on their skin it'll it'll get rid of dry skin and stuff like that um and and i heard great reviews on it so i definitely got it for my baby girl and oh, i forgot i had these oh so i got some more swaddles but these swaddles come with head wraps show you yep they do so it's a pack of three and here's one of them with the head wrap oh my God! <laughs> and I didn't unfold it this one but it's okay she, she has this one with the head bow oh Baby girl gonna be papping. <laughs> and she got this one with the hair bow. Aren't they cute? She's gonna have so many accessories, y'all. Like, y'all don't even understand. Um, this was the soap that I did get early in my pregnancy. Um, so I got the baby dove, tip to toe washed, um, calming nights, and um sensitive moisture. I got those off of Amazon as well. Good, good, good price, y'all. I'm telling you, I got them for a great price. And the link will be in the description below. And it'll be available in my Amazon store. So you guys can see that as well. Um, and 
And let me show you what I got from Didi's. Didi's discount. I'll be having contractions too. Blankets. So, um, now I told you guys about Didi's discount. Didi's discount is like a roses or a um. I don't know. I don't even know what to compare it to, but it don't have all that stuff like roses, like the lawn furniture. Like they don't have all of that. They have mainly clothes and accessories and like houseware, little knickknacks and stuff like that. So I went there um, looking for one thing and ended up going ham. So let me show you what I got from Dee Dee's discount. Um, oh, look at And this is the headbands and the um, mittens to go with them. And these were $4.99. Yes, aren't they cute? And I got her, I got these too. Aren't they cute? And these also um, were $4.99 as well. The little headbands with the mitts. This little baby is going to have so many accessories. It's a shame. Um, shout out to Jessica Simpson because... Oh my gosh, look at that with the little pockets. Oh, they got the feet. <laughs> Isn't this cute? And this was $7.99 from Didi's Discount. Oh, I got these two. Look at that. Yes. $4.99. Um, I have to, yeah, yeah no, it don't match, but I'll, I'll you know. I like this with this one or the stripes you know I like to mix my print okay I got this little outfit isn't that adorable little miss perfect because all my children are like perfect <laughs> and this was this is three to six months and I paid where's the real price well I don't see the price that I paid. I must have popped it off. Um, <laughs> either way, it, must, it was cheap. <laughs> I want to say like maybe $6, 6 or $7 or something like that. But this is so cute. Um, got some more washcloths. And these are that thick quality, like the ones I got out of Bye Bye Baby. And you get six of these, and I paid $3.99. You see what I'm saying? And this is what I'm saying when I said I like was a little upset when I went to buy my baby. Um, baby girl didn't have a. Oh, she do got a root. Okay. Um, but I got her this. Isn't it cute with the little doggy ears? She got a little robe. Um, I got this out of there. This was five ninety nine from there. And oh, this the little feet i thought i stayed away from pink but the more i'm looking at this stuff i think i lied um and this was 4.99 three to six months and look at these receiving blankets these were 5.99 and you get one two three four four of these um for 5.99 see these are cute and oh yeah that outfit was $7.99 here it is I found the tag $7.99 for that outfit with the gold shoes um and also I didn't get a whole bunch of baby clothing out of Target but um you know let me show you what I did get so I got her these Carter's um onesies and i like them because they were different see the different colors see it was something that's not pink <laughs> see i thought it was so cute the cherries and i found these onesies well pajama onesies whatever you call them <laughs> thought they were cute i like the colors and how much did i pay for these um I don't know what a price had on these, but I know I didn't spend a whole bunch of money on them. I don't remember how much they were. I don't even think I kept the receipt. 
from Target. I didn't keep the receipt from Target, but these were not a lot of money at all, the Carters. And these. So, I think the tag is on this one. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't remember what I paid for them, but aren't they cute? These are so adorable. Look at that. <laughs> And then I'm going to show you guys my pampers and stuff. I'm going to show you some of the outfits that my grandmother got for her. And with every kid, every single child I've had, my grandmother always sends like boxes and boxes and loads and loads of clothing. And she's like a belk. She like belks and Macy's. So she finds sales. Um, she gets them out of Walmart Target too. But these are like a mixture. Um, so I don't. I don't know where she got a lot of this stuff from, but, you know, I know she's a department. She loves Belks, Macy's, Dillard's, you know, stuff like that. So, of course, like I said, I know she got some stuff out of Walmart, too. I just, I don't know what, what came from what. Um, but I'm going to show you the things that she got for baby girl. She got her this little cute outfit. It's a little onesie shirt, kind of, sort of, <laughs> with the tutu. This little baby. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the cutest? She got her that. Um, she got her this little outfit. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, I took it apart because, like I said, I'm getting prepared to wash everything. But it's this little corduroy jumper with the little lemon shirt. Oh my gosh, isn't this adorable? This is a set. And I just think it is just so cute. And she got her this set, which this is another one um, that I know because it's kind of small, she'll like, she'll baby girl be wearing this like a set um, with the little panties. And a lot of this stuff, like, you know, the stuff that's little, cause I think my daughter's baby is kind of little. I know that, and our babies are less than a month apart, so my baby will be her baby's auntie, and I told her I'm going to make my baby, I'm going to make her baby call, <laughs> call my baby auntie, <laughs> um, but a lot of this stuff, like the smaller things, I know I can pass down to her for her baby, um, she'll be able to wear it, um, and my grandmas are always able to find, like, the little different onesies, like, she's the queen of finding things that are not pink. Like, she, I don't know where she say Walmart, but I swear I never see this stuff in Walmart. Like, I, I don't see it. Like, this is my favorite onesie out of all of them. I don't see this stuff, but hey, she be finding it, so. Um, this is also, this also goes with the, um, the cheetah print skirt that I showed you. So, she can either wear this shirt or the long sleeve one with the cheetah print tutu. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is my other favorite. This is so cute. Like, I don't know where she finds this stuff, but she finds it. <laughs> and what else is there? Um, more onesies. Oh, and she got her the cutest robe. Isn't this cute? This is so cute. So shout out to my granny. Look at that. And it's funny because my grandma bought two of these. One for me and one for my daughter. Um, but my daughter, her whole theme for everything is Minnie Mouse. And it, my grandmother, which is my daughter's great-grandmother, just started buying Minnie Mouse stuff. So with her buying Minnie Mouse stuff, like... Her theme just turned into Minnie Mouse. So my daughter and um, my daughter's baby, which is my honey, which would be my honey bee because I'm honey, <laughs> um, <laughs> will have like the same outfits. Some stuff that I bought too, um, they both will have like the same outfits because like they're like, they're not even a month apart. So it'll be like me having twins kind of sort of. Oh, and this is the headband that goes to the corduroy jumper. <laughs> So, and, oh yeah, she got her this, so, shout out to you, my mom, she always go all out, like, 
she anybody in the family that has a baby she loads them up just send boxes of stuff <laughs> look at that so yes baby girl will be here pretty much any day now like i said i am um 36 weeks and some change and um you know you know 37 weeks they're full term so homegirl could come any day and i i have contractions all the time like i'm actually having one now so you know it's just time for me to get things ready um my next video of course i'm going to show you guys um my bedside nursery and how i have everything set up it's not set up yet but i'm gonna put it together <laughs> i started putting some stuff together because i know she's gonna be here any day um and i just don't want to be caught off guard so i guess i need to buy her more bottles right but yeah i'm gonna show you like the pampers and everything i got from target um and then my next video i will show you guys the bedside nursery so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope i didn't talk too much i tried to make it as quick as possible and to the point um but like i said um bye bye baby i mean for me i'm not saying it was a horrible store so it's a nice store you know i just feel like a lot of the prices were just a little pricey um compared to a lot of other stores that i went to to find the same exact product so you know i guess it's like a it depends on what you're going for type of store i don't know um but i did enjoy my shopping experience at burlington coat factory dd's discount um walmart target and amazon okay so that concludes my baby haul i hope you guys um enjoyed it and you know stick around for the next video if you have not yet click like i mean you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe and ring that bell for the notifications so that you'll be notified when i post a video okay so as always it was a beautiful day in the ginger hood for this ginger's way oh it didn't go out but it's ginger's way